Welcome friends. Today I will explain all the configuration required before start working on any Spring Boot application using Eclipse IDE Integrated Development Environment. I will tell you about Eclipse Workspace Setup, Compiler Setup and Eclipse IDE in Marketplace Setup. I am using Eclipse IDE Mass 1 4.5.1 release Java Enterprise Edition. When you start Eclipse IDE, first of all, it will ask you to create some workspace where your work will be saved. If you have existing workspace, then select it and move on. Or create one folder and give its path here, then press OK button. After this, you will be welcomed by Eclipse IDE in case you have created new workspace. Close this page by clicking cross button indicated here. Here it is. Eclipse IDE where you will create all your projects. Firstly, you need to check the compiler settings. Go to Windows in Menu option and select Preferences Submenu option like this here. On left hand side under Java, you will find Compiler option. Select it. Then it will show you which compiler settings are selected. Make sure 1.8 latest is selected here. Also check installed JRE. It is under Java here. And make sure JDK 1.8 is added here also. If it is not present here, you need to add it by clicking on Add button indicated here as 1, 2 and 3 steps. Add JRE dialog box will be opened up when you click this Add button. Select Standard VM here and click on next button. Now you need to click on directory button here and browse for JDK 1.8 for on your system. Click OK button. Give JRE name to anything meaningful and click on finish button to complete the task. Also check the execution environment in your system. Select JRE 1.1 when you select execution environment under install JRE and Make sure that JDK 1.8 is selected here. Now, right click on anywhere in Eclipse Project Explorer area under New. Select Project option now. New project dialog box will be opened up. Here, you can see that there is no option for a Spring project. Let's see how we can add that option. Close the dialog box and select Help menu option here. Go to Eclipse Marketplace under Installed tab, you will see that the Spring IDE is added here in My Eclipse Marketplace. It might be missing on your Eclipse Marketplace. If it is there, ask for update, then update it by clicking on update button. Otherwise, you need to search it if it is not present. Here, I am going to update this plugin. It will ask for confirmation. Click on confirm button and in the next step, Accept the terms and conditions and license agreement. Now click on finish button. It will start updating the software. When software gets updated, it may ask you to restart Eclipse. Press yes and restart your Eclipse. When Eclipse restarted itself and you go to new project now, you will be able to find Spring Starter Project option this time. Like this. Just to show you quickly, I have selected a Spring Starter Project option. Then it will ask you for project details like this. And by default, I did not change anything. Let's click on next button. Again, click on next button. And finally, you need to press finish button. Eclipse IDE will create a project for you when you click this finish button. I didn't change anything. The project structure will be shown up in front of you like this. I will explain. And I will expand the JRE system libraries. Then you will find all the necessary JAR here. JAR files under JRE system libraries. At the top, you will notice a small M and S here, which represents Maven and Spring. The boot written in front of project name indicates that this project is a Spring Boot project. I hope my tips helped you. Thanks for watching.